ask me if I'm going to live there because that's a big question we get from a lot of sellers. Ask me if I'm going to live there. Okay. Are you going to live in this property? Oh, <laughs> Adam, no, I'm not going to live there. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a real estate investor and I'm looking to buy another investment property. So here's what I want to do. I want to put some really good people in there and I want to make some money, but I also want it to be a great solution for you. Does that seem unreasonable? Sounds good to me. Okay. So when I do get, when I have these people ready to go and qualified, I'm going to need them to look at the property. Are you going to be available to let them in and take a look? Yeah, sure. I can do that depending on the day. Great. I'll be in touch with you and we'll make something convenient. Sounds good. <sighs> easy as that. That's easy, dude. Yeah. So, you know, I think we complicated a lot in our minds, but there's nothing difficult about it. Once you get your confidence level up, you know, you've practiced a little bit. And, and honestly, I think too, sometimes we have this uh, anxiety and it's based out of our lack of knowledge on it. Uh, an experience, but I think also too, sometimes we just straight up have low self-esteem a little bit. Right. Like, like we don't know what it feels like to pick up the phone as a wealthy investor making the phone call. You see how that. when I'm, yeah, well, you see when I'm making the phone call, I'm not, I'm not a beggar. Am I? I and I'm, yeah. I'm friendly. I'm, Oh, I'm very friendly and I'm nice. I'm easy to get, get along with and all that. But I'm, I'm all about, Hey, I'm a real estate investor and I'm looking to buy another property. I ain't got time to bullshit. Right. You know? Uh, so, you know, people respect that. And, but as the homeowners, but, and, and people that watch me on video, they're like, wow, he's so good at this. But really that's, I think the big difference is that I'm calling with some level of confidence and self-esteem, yeah, which comes across as authority and right. power, you know, the ability to do, but, but in reality, um, it, it's all just in your mind, right. you know, um, you, you definitely can make a mind shift up to where instead of calling like you're, when you're calling, you're thinking telemarketer i'm a telemarketer i'm a scummy scammy telemarketer right you no know, when you're picking up the phone i'm a i'm a wealthy real estate investor and i'm looking to do a deal right now today see there's a that's a totally different mindset yeah it is it is you know, yeah and yeah and I, I, I think what i get hung up on a lot too when i make these uh, calls is that i feel like oh man i don't want to be a nuisance to somebody i don't want to be annoying or um you know, but I also want this thing to work out. So I want to come off as polite, but not kiss their ass in the same. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into yeah. it. But those are kind of my things that I think about whenever yeah. I'm about to call a number like, man, this is this next 15 seconds can make or break something here. I think um, you're going to love this conversation that I teach because it's three minutes in and out. If they're, you know, you're not wasting time. You're not wasting their time or yours. You're not cutting. You're not wasting time talking about the, the paint on the wall and the carpet and the master bedroom needs got a bleach stain on it. And you know, the deck outside the railings loose. And you know, I don't, who gives a shit, you know, I, mm -hmm. I'm more concerned about the, the motivation level of this homeowner and you know what the situation is overall then the, the little minute details i'm not talking to him about any of this i'm getting right to it my name's adam i'm a real estate investor i'm looking to buy and i wanted to ask you a few questions and what my questions are really going to be focused about are why are you selling and let's talk about the money and, and that's that's a businessman talking that's not uh, that's not a telemarketer i need to know this stuff because i'm a businessman and i and i'm trying to make business decisions and do business deals so you know it's a great idea um to go in it with this mentality that you're that you are that and you are that you are and you are you're a great real estate investor okay you you just you know you're you maybe think oh well i've never done a deal i'm just getting started it doesn't matter you're a great real estate investor and you're on the phone for three minutes to determine whether this person's motivated or not. And if they're not, you're out. If they are and they're willing to talk, then you might, you might go another three minutes or maybe right. another six minutes. But you know, it's, it's not a time waster. I love this. I love the call we do. I love it. <laughs> you can tell I get excited when I'm talking about it. Cause I've, yeah. I, it, 
<laughs> no, it's good <laughs> stuff, though. All right, man. What? Give me one more objection. Throw it at me. All right. Let's see. Give me a second. Anything that you? What's the thing that you're afraid they would say or do the most? Um. Let's see. I think they would. Uh, you know, somebody's like, well, how do I know the money's guaranteed every month or bring something forward about how do I know they're, they're good at paying on time and something along that, that line. Yeah. Yes. That's a great question, Mr. Homeowner. And I'm glad you asked that. Uh, we put these tenant buyers through a very stringent background screening. We have verification of two years, good rental history. So they, they not problem tenant. And we also have verified their income that the rental payment is at least 30%. It's no more than 30% of their entire income. Okay. So um, these guys are really good. But again, I don't have a crystal ball. And it's, you know, I can't tell you the future. Something may happen. But if I were not involved and you had the house rented, and they didn't make a payment, what what would happen then? Right. Okay. So <laughs> it's the same it's the same <laughs> answer I gave you a, a couple minutes ago, right? right. Okay. Yeah, it, <laughs> uh, well, and then, you know, I, I've had them say uh, one more. I'll throw one more at you. And it's, uh, well, how do you make money? Well, I, I collect a fee from the buyer and that is part of my business of helping these people get established financially, be able to afford their first home, get back on their feet, whatever it may be. So for me, helping them out and part of my service, uh, they're the ones that pay that fee and I don't take anything from the sellers. Oh, okay. Great. Great. Good job. Hey, you want to add on there? So if I draw up the agreement where uh, you know, blah, blah. Would that be something that would be comfortable for you and we could move forward? Okay. You see what I mean? You're tagging on a closing to it, right? Right, right. Hey, if, if this is a problem and you brought it up, right? You brought this up, buddy. And if it's a problem, if I do it this way, can we go ahead and do the deal? Okay. You know, like, yep. cause I'm, not a I'm not asking for more questions. I'm asking, can we do the deal now? Right. Can we get it done? Yeah. That's okay. my counter offer. Yeah, I'll do that if we can do the deal. Right. I don't know why I'm doing this like that. <laughs> uh, uh. Anyway, hey, dude, schedule with me again, man, and let's actually role play the whole thing next time. Yeah, for sure. And I'll have you doing it. But now you've got an understanding of the conversation. So when you're going through it and you're thinking about it before our next appointment, uh, you can kind of practice in your mind a little bit. So then then you know and, and and next time it'll be bad but that's okay it's it's supposed to be bad <laughs> <laughs> it's <start> somewhere <laughs> exactly right <laughs> but shut up money yeah hey thanks for watching but don't forget to post introduce yourself tag a friend like us leave a comment subscribe share this video just do something don't just sit there there's all that money out there you got to get going get in motion this is motion real estate